So this is the inverter for uh, the 24 volt system and this one is fully automatic it's a 3000 watt inverter charger and this one will actually switch from um, the solar to the grid automatically so that's actually that will take care of the problem uh, and this is actually really good um, good everything except the inverter the inverter is actually a piece of crap the rest of it the bells and whistles are actually pretty good but as an inverter no so I don't want to really talk about this this here but uh, let's go back to the 12 volt solar system and before we go let me just refresh the Pilsner here so it has been cloudy and raining for three or four days right now and the voltage is pretty depleted from the 12 volt system I guess if I didn't have the backup here it would be probably down at least 12 volts or more by now so I want to show you how to automatically back up your solar your off-grid solar when there is a very little light I mean Sun like in December when the days are short and then especially when it gets rainy or snowy so I was thinking about it mean well power supply and this is the SE612 this is the one that you can get maximum 13.9 volts out of it and 50 amps okay and that's adjustable from uh, actually I don't know right now from what to what but I guess it says 12 or 13.9 can confirm it but uh, the max is 13.9 which is the perfect voltage for charging these uh, LiPo, 4, LiPo 4 cells okay and uh, why this one here well just in case the regulator the voltage regulator will burn out you will never get more than 13.9 volts out of this so you cannot overcharge the system like I hear from uh, other people and uh, so right now let me see let's turn this puppy on so right now we are charging 19.6 amps and that's because this uh, voltage regulator is set to about 13 volts maybe 13.5 okay so this will start charging when the system get close to 13 uh, 13 I'm sorry 13.05 not 13.5 13.05 volts then the uh, meanwhile will start charging and uh, the way this works actually let's uh, say the voltage uh, will will go down gradually right from the solar system and when it gets close to 13 let's let's go that even 13 okay when it gets close to 13 then uh, it will start charging slowly um, and it will start obviously from you know 0, 5, 1 amp, 2 amp, 5 amps and, and the more energy you use the more it will charge or the lower the voltage actually on the battery bank the more it will charge okay and I can show you right now if I turn on some big appliance that will suck up the energy out of it so right now okay so right now we are at 19.8 and 
1293. Well, this is not going to change much, but this will probably change. So let me go turn on the furnace and uh, we'll see how it's going to jump. Okay. Okay. So the turn, uh, the furnace takes about 50 amps at 12 volts, and uh, obviously you can see the voltage that it dropped a little bit, but right away we drawing 29 amps okay obviously some of the amps will come from the battery bank but since we lower the voltage only zero one volt i guess on the battery bank then this will jump up about 10 amps and the more you lower the voltage the more you lower the voltage on this, on the battery bank, the, uh, the more amps you're going to get out of it. So this is actually really, really good setup. Um, and obviously it's uh, fed off the grid, okay? And uh, I just put this together yesterday and I am actually pretty happy with it because this uh, system here have the go power inverter which is fantastic inverter and nothing else but inverter uh, but it, it's not an inverter charger and um, so pretty much uh, it will deplete the battery all the way down to 10.5 volts until the BMS will shut it off, right? If there is no sun. In this case, this 50 amp charger will actually keep it charged to, I, you know, it really depends how much power you're gonna use, but uh, it's gonna stay roughly around this voltage here, maybe 1270, no lower than that because at 1270 it's going to produce already uh, 50 amps I mean feed 50 amps back to the system so that's uh, you know that's a, that's a really good uh, good setup to uh, to save your solar batteries from discharging and also prolong their lifetime because you're not going to cycle them so low as if you don't have this backup charger and let me tell you what happened last winter here we had about a one week cloudy days rainy days which pretty much depleted this battery bank down to I don't know maybe 12 volts and then it starts snowing and on top of it we lost power so that was like the perfect storm pretty much we were out of power from the grid and I had no power in the in the battery bank so this year this is gonna solve the problem at least at a certain point okay so that's pretty much it and uh, this is very simple setup you need uh, you need uh, wires strong enough to carry 50 amps right so this is a minus leads this is a right here that's a plus leads uh, so as you can see right now actually well, it just briefly jumped to 54 amps. I guess something turned on. Something else. So right now it's at 33, 34. But as you know, as um, as far as uh, the appliances, the, the more you turn on, and as long as you have a power from the grid, obviously, the more this mean well will, will produce and you can put two of them together to, to get 100 amps out of it if you want 
uh, but I think the 50 amp will be sufficient. Uh, as you can see right here, yeah, the, low, the voltage actually went down a little bit, but the voltage will go down just a little, and this will jump up a lot. Okay. So that's pretty much it. I mean, I would really recommend to run it uh, through the breaker. This is a 70 amp breaker, one of these. So three times 70. This one is burned out. That's why I stayed. So I'm, I have only two times 70, but I am running it through through one 70 amp breaker. So that's it. Uh, there is not much to it. Uh, all you gotta do, there is a little regulator right here. Oh, and when you adjust the voltage, by the way, and that meanwhile, you have to adjust the voltage without the load. Okay. So what I do, I pretty much shut the breaker and then adjust the voltage to the voltage I want. And my case is 13 volts and then turn on the breaker and uh, plug it in it's ready to go so i thought uh, you know i'm gonna mention this on youtube uh, just in case you guys want to want to upgrade your off-grid solar all right good luck